We've seen the completed project in New Denver. We've been there and stayed there. It's almost amazing to me that this hasn't been thought of before. So I guess the world was just waiting for Salah to bring it through. Last summer, I actually had an opportunity to go up there to see the, uh, the facility, and I was very impressed. I remember going through and, and seeing all the rounded corners, which was, uh, was quite interesting, uh, very unique in the design of uh, how you finish off the, uh, uh, the interior walls. The facility that they have up at, uh, at New Denver, it's, it's, it's an incredible place. Throughout the history of humankind, the dome shape has been what, ha what we have lived and dwelled in for millennia. So at some level, it does ring true, and there is a sense that we feel comfortable and safe within that type of a shape. That's how I felt when I was inside. And this is so full of potential and possibility as a system. And I think one of the challenges is to show people how beautiful it can be while it's being functional, that you're not sacrificing one thing for the other. So for me, this is the first time I've seen the system go up, and uh, it's very inspiring. Training our eye to see another form of beauty that has a flow and that has different shapes and, and textures to it so that when you look at it in the world, you can go, yes, I could live in that. sit here and you watch people driving by these prototypes and they stop, they, they look, they get out of their cars, they take pictures, they walk inside, it's like something they've never seen before and they're really, really interested in it. They're very economical compared to what's out there right now and there are many, many people that have come and asked for houses to be built, um, there are cities that have asked for major buildings, recreational centers to be built, so there's a lot of demand building. So I think people intuitively see the value of this kind of construction. Based on the development of the programs and the computer software that's being used, you can come and say, I want three domes conjoined and that can be done. Or if you want one big high three-story dome, that can be done. You know, so any kind of variations along a continuous curve can be done. It's incredible space inside. Um, the structure of the dome, there's no cross beams or real sh harsh angles at all. So when you're inside, it's just such an open space. It's amazing. It does lend itself to a really relaxing and calming energy. It's terrific magical place actually. The way we do earthquake testing is to simulate an earthquake as closely as possible. What we are essentially looking for is large movements. Now the weight of course is very important because that is what generates the the devastating earthquake forces through acceleration, or we also call it momentum. test is uh, what was required by the code and the second one is, is basically above and so on. So what we are doing now is beyond the, the code requirement. I'm not so sure whether we can fail it today. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you.
We are just as nervous as the lives because in a test, a lot of things can go wrong. And so far, it's been a perfect test. There are some uh, some uses now being uh, being looked at for housing, for instance, in uh, Indonesia with the uh, with the tsunami. So I think it has a lot of uh, opportunities in uh, in low low cost and, and actually high value housing. Now, what you're heading to here with a modular concept that has a great deal of appeal to our typical customer. You know, the do-it-yourselfer who wants a project that they can go and build with their friends, with their family over a weekend, a couple of weeks, whatever. But then there's also the environmental, sustainable uh, attributes as well. Things like you're using waste wood in the frame and the OSB is made up of waste wood material. To be able to use the, the trim ends in a sawmill, the stuff that's normally fall down and end up as hog fuel or something like that, and turn homes, build homes out of it, it's amazing. It's a new concept, it's innovative and uh, I think, it'll, I think it's uh, pretty interesting where you can actually go with this thing. It's something that um, I think people will, will become accustomed to and they'll be able to see the advantages of having a home like this. You'll be well placed to you know, get into markets, whether it be here or in, in China or in the Middle East. Um, you know, all, all those opportunities would be open to them. In truly modular concept, you could drop these around the world so fast, uh, like the tsunami that we just had on Boxing Day. You know, to get some, actually some permanent housing up and running for people quickly. Very awesome quickly. idea. I believe from this point then we'll start launching into production and we'll really see the domes go out into the world. So we're really in the birthing time and it's quite exciting. We're among 32 companies chosen by the federal government as innovators of national significance. Hey, Maria, hey, Maria.